In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the split text effect, and I'm going to be adding an animation to make it a little more interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I have nothing in my Fumora timeline here. So to get started, I'm going to use uh, a solid color as a background so you can have a video. You can have an image that you already have uh, saved. Uh, so I'm going to go over to stock media and I'm going to go to library and I'll go to solid color and I'm just going to grab one of these here. I grab this, drop it on the timeline. All right. So this is going to be our background. OK, I'm going to go back here. All right. So once we have our background, we're going to need to add our text. I'll go over to titles. And I'm going to go to the first one titles and go to plain text. I'm just going to add a plain uh, text here with no animation, nothing. That's what you need here. So you don't need to pick any text with uh, preset animations. So this first one here, which is called basic six should do the job. I click drag and drop this on uh, my video here, my timeline here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and expand this a little more. All right. So let's go ahead and customize this. I'm going to uh, call this. Uh, go to titles. I'm gonna call this a uh, split. Well, let's make it all uppercase. So split, and I'm gonna go ahead and select everything. I'm gonna go ahead and change the font to my favorite, which is called uh, let's see, impact. So it's gonna be right here, and let's make it all the way big. Okay, so we can actually see this um, animation here. All right. Let's try to center this by moving it across the screen to get those guidelines. Go ahead and uh, select that. All right. So once you have your text here, right? So the way this works is we're going to be applying a mask, but in Fimora, you're not going to be able to apply a mask on text. Okay. So if you double click on the text, it's going to take you to the uh, text properties, which are the basics. And you also have some animations here, right? Now, you can switch over to video, which doesn't give you the option to add a mask. So in order to add a mask on our text here, I'm going to convert this into an image, a PNG uh, image. So how do I do that? I'm going to go ahead and anywhere here on the text, if you have a, you know, a background here or a video, go ahead and navigate to the spot where you want to take a screenshot, right? So I'm going to go, this is a solid background. I don't need to locate a nice background, you know, within uh, this uh, on the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot, which is going to be located underneath uh, the preview screen. You're going to see a little camera here. Go ahead and click that snapshot. And it's going to ask you a couple of things here. This is going to be a PNG. You can obviously switch to a JPEG uh, or JPG. I'm going to keep it as PNG. And uh, yeah, go ahead and hit OK. All right. So once we have that, I'm going to go ahead and delete my text because I don't need that anymore. Delete that. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this right here. OK. All right. Cool. All right. So now that we have our text, I'm going to go ahead and apply a mask. So I'm going to double click on uh, the text and it's going to be on basic. You want to switch over to mask. And on mask, you have the ability to choose all these. So you can use the freehand or the draw mask, which is pretty easy to use. But for this, I want to create a pretty simple split here. I'm going to be using the uh, the rectangle preset mask. I'm going to click on that, and this is going to be added onto my uh, uh, image here. So let me go ahead and expand this so it covers the entire image. So maybe from here, and then I'll make it uh, adjust the height. All right. You can move it around the screen as well. I like that. Okay. All right. So I want to split this from this uh, point here all the way across. So how do I do this? I'm going to go ahead and rotate uh, this uh, uh, this um, mask here. So I'm going to go up here, rotate this like that. You can even make it bigger too. So I'll make it a little bigger here and I'll move it across the screen here. Okay. Let me rotate it a little more to. Uh, that way here, kind of like that. And yep, I think this would do here. All right, so this is going to be my mask here. Now, let me go ahead and move it up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to use the keyboard arrow here to move it up a little bit. All right, cool. All right, so now once we have this, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Okay, now you want to select uh, your image before you do that. So let's add another track here, another video track. So if you go to the left side here of the screen, click that plus button that says manage tracks and click add video track, which is the first option. 
click on that it's going to add a video track on top of this one so what you're going to do is you're going to copy your image here copy that i'm going to go ahead and uh copy and you want to select the track that you just created here by clicking on the left panel and right click and paste okay uh, so for now let me go ahead and remove this background and put it over here because i'll show you what is going to happen here okay so if i remove that you see that it's going to show what's behind that mask okay so that's why i kept it on here so if i keep it on here it's going to keep that same background okay all right so on my second video here that i just uh, uh copied um and pasted i'm going to select that video double click on it and you're going to go to the mask you don't want to change anything here you want to scroll down and you're going to go ahead and invert the mask right go ahead and invert the mask it's going to bring back the other half because it's simply doing the opposite of what you did which is hide the other half now we're showing it on this clip so if i was going to hide this top clip you're going to see that it's only going to show this part and if i was going to hide this bottom clip right here it's going to show the other uh half here okay so what i can actually do here it shows you how clean uh, the split is so you can see that here at the beginning it's not really a clean uh, split here just because it's still showing uh, the beginning part of this uh, text here let me look at the other one as well to see if it's the same thing okay so what I could do here is I can move this backwards I'm gonna select the mask and I'm gonna use my uh, left keyboard arrow to move this this way or you can just click and drag as well that works All right kind of like that all right so now what do we have here all right, so as you can see, it's going to mess up what we have here on the bottom, as you can see. So what you can do to fix this is you can actually delete uh, this one. So if you make any changes, delete the other one that you didn't touch. I'm going to copy this, put it down here, select the track, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it. And all you have to do is double click on that uh, clip that you just pasted and do the inverse. Okay, kind of like that. So now you have both. So I can hide this one. You can see this is what it looks like. And I'll hide the second one this is what it looks like so if you make any changes make sure you delete the clip that you didn't make changes to and copy the clip that you made changes to paste it and do the inverse okay the inverse just means the opposite all right so now how do we actually add uh, animations here how do we actually you know split the text you can kind of like see a line on here if I uh, make this a little bigger look at that you can see that line right here all right all right, so let's make it a lot bigger. I'm going to double click on the top clip. It doesn't really matter the top one or the uh, bottom one. So I'm going to start with the top one. And what I want to do here is move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. And the way I'm going to split this is going to be by uh, moving the Y position. Okay. So I want to take, uh, uh, I want to add a, a keyframe here to capture how it looks right now. Right. Playhead at the beginning of the clip. Go ahead and add a keyframe. Right, I'm gonna move it maybe to right here, and I'm gonna move the Y position like that. So I'm moving it down, right? Since I'm using that clip right there, move it down. You can either move it down or move it up, right? So if you're moving it up and nothing's happening, move it down. You're gonna see something here. You're gonna see that split right there, okay? Kind of like that. Now let me go ahead and play this. So you can see that split right there, right? Pretty clean uh, split here. Also, a couple other ways you could do this is if I was going to go back to my uh, clip here, let me go ahead and delete uh, these keyframes. Select the other one here, hit delete. Um, a couple other ways you can actually split this. I'm going to double click on this. Try the, try the bottom, bottom uh, clip this time. Double click on it. You can do something like changing the height of this. So if I was going to... Uh, change the height here let's make it a little smaller you're going to get the same uh, uh you're going to get the same uh, split here because it's it's adjusting the height of that bottom uh, clip here you can also use the blur strength so if i increase the blur strength you can see that it shows you kind of like a clean cut here that has like a little shadow on there so you might want to make this a little smaller here so it doesn't have too much of a shadow so kind of like that here like that that looks pretty clean, but these are the different ways that you can actually split your text. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.